Hi, I'm David Croft. Welcome along to what's going to be a very special day, not just for me, but for you as well, because you're going to get to see the Virgin Racing VR01 for the very first time. A car that will hit the track and go to Singapore and Monza and Monaco and Melbourne, but today it's sitting in Leighton London. So logistics in your department. Where, where's the car? Uh, the car's it's only minutes away. Um, but I think I think considering it's taken ten months, I think we can give them another few minutes. Car's just coming in. Before it does, this is your race overall for the year. Yeah, brand but new. I'm not interested in my race overall. No. You can see the car. Right, <laughs> come with me then. Seriously, what do you think to this? Just, just amazing. Um, the guys had so little time to project and, and build it from uh, zero, so it's really, really amazing what they achieve uh, a world class uh, Formula One car in one year or less than a year. It's stunning, isn't it? Emotional day as the car arrives out of the factory for the first time? Very much so, yes. I can't, uh, can't wait to see it in the spotlight, it, uh, and it's a beautiful thing, it really is. I thought F1 was all about champagne and caviar, not, not tea and pizza. I know we've had a low-cost Formula One revolution here, but this is just getting silly. But it's kind of hope for home for you, isn't it? Well, uh, tea is uh, kind of uh, almost home for me. After spending one year with Mandar in 2005, drinking Yorkshire tea uh, every <laughs> single day, now I'm used to it. So, and it's cold, so tea is good. When I left São Paulo for the last time, you know, it was 30 degrees sun, but I didn't really mind uh, coming here to do. What, what I always dream of, that is to drive Formula 1. You see, every Formula 1 driver has to wear makeup, but Sam Makeup Girl is quite an attractive proposition, even if we are in a freezing cold studio here in Leighton Buzzard. How are you feeling? Good. Very good. How's your leg? I'm going to ask it <laughs> once and once only, I promise. It's okay. I think it's quite a nice package, quite a nice start uh, for a new team, and um, uh, I think there is a lot of stuff which is coming up in the season, and I'm um, really looking forward to it to be the first time my new baby. What do you want from, from this season? I think it's more, you know, it's more the challenge um, than, than anything else. Everyone knows it's difficult. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. And it's, and it's not meant to be easy uh, either. And uh, so for us, it's a challenge. You know, Virgin Lake a challenge, so there's a match there. And uh, it's going to be a case of um, running reliably and then chipping away. In the past five hours, it hasn't moved, mate. Right? What are you waiting for? I'm sure it has moved. I'm watching. I'm waiting. <laughs> How many photos have you taken of this car today? Too many already? No, loads. Uh, probably about today of the car? Yeah. A couple hundred at least. For about, for about four photos. Hello, Hello David. And I'm not sure what I'm looking at, but you tell me the back end is where all the magic is, so I thought I'd better have a sneaky peek. Yeah, um, this is our interpretation of, um, of uh, 2010 rear end. Kind of a bit different from other people's, but um, it's the basis for development. And it's all CFD design. Is that like the giant leap for F1, or is it just a bit of a small step? I think the giant leap really is, is um, relying on it um, without any uh, wind tunnel testing. Lots of our competitors do uh, wind tunnel testing and some great CFD. Um, but it's kind of a like um, doing a tight rope pack for that, uh, that safety. <laughs> um, so uh, we're pretty used to it and we're confident that it's... Uh, Even it's more like John, I don't think I've ever got this close to a team principal. Not in this position anyway. But there is a reason that we're down here. And we can zoom in on the white rose. Born and bred in the Republic of Yorkshire. You've got the logo on. Oh. As you well know, all Yorkshiremen are very proud of being in Yorkshire anyway, but this, this really gives some added, added spice to it as well. It's, um, you know, to, to have a Yorkshire Rose on the Formula 1 car is a great, a great honour. And that's it. Time to leave Leighton Buzzard now. Our access all areas pass has expired. Uh, the car has a whole night time's worth of shooting to endure now as photographer Jason finds a few hundred more new angles in which to photograph it. The drivers and the team bosses have all left and the new season is just around the corner. So the next time we see this car, it'll be on the track for real.